it's just so funny how all of a sudden the Bible doesn't matter. The scriptures don't matter. <clears throat> I'm so far above scriptures. You're never going to see me using scripture now. Um, then why do you guys come to our channels talking about stuff that we're talking about? Because we're talking about scriptures. We're talking about the Bible. We're talking about other books. We're bringing that information together. We're connecting that with history. And you're always trying to take your sins and put them on other people. See, like, and I was looking at uh, Fred Price's son the other day. He was like, well, you know, people have whitewashed uh, the scriptures, but I don't want to blackwash them either. See, so-called Europeans came over, got our records, got our books, changed all the pictures to put themselves into it. Now that we are awakened and we're saying, look, this is what they really really look like. Well, I don't want to blackwash the scriptures. I don't want to be guilty of the same thing that they did. That's not being guilty of the same things that they've done. Okay. That is going back to the original intent and the original people that were there. But see, that's, that's what you guys do. You guys do all these hor hor horrible, hateful things. And when we bring it to your attention, all of a sudden, uh, we're all guilty of it. I get all these people coming on the comment. Well, you're not the only people that suffered. You know, there have been other people that suffered too. We never said other people didn't suffer. The most I said that we were going to suffer the worst. No one said that other nations haven't suffered and haven't had to go through atrocities and things like that, but not to the extent that we have. You see what I'm saying? And you guys get recompense. Just like when things ha bad things happen to you, many times, you know, you get, you know, you get your come up at the end. You know, but us, we don't get that. So just the whole thing with the blackwashing is hilarious because you guys go ahead and rape, rob, murder, and steal everyone and we from everyone, from our people. And then when we say you need to pay for that, oh, no, that's, that's not true. We say you've taken our scriptures and you've whitewashed them and they need to, the original people were black. No, no, you're just, you're, you're, you're now, I don't want to go to the other extreme and blackwash everybody. I was like, you guys are just showing that you have nothing. But, you know, you don't want to talk about your history. You don't want to talk about the things that you've talked, that you've done. But you want to just blame us when we talk about the things that you've done. Um, same thing with like stealing people's identities. You guys try to say, oh, you black people are trying to get your own identity, get your own, uh, you know, identity, but don't try to steal other people's. That's exactly what you've done. You came over here and you've taken all the other people, all of our identities and put them on everyone else. And so we got a lot of, a lot of these uh, Egyptians, we got a lot of Egyptians that are very, very cocky and think that they're like, you know, we're, we're the ones that brought, brought for society. We've done all these great things in Egypt when you're not even the Egyptians. I, I just laugh, you know, I, I, I have a lot of Egyptians that I've come in contact with and a lot of them can be very cocky, very arrogant. And all these Arabs. I'm like, are, how are you guys the original people? Just talk about the Egyptians alone. The original Egyptians were Mizraim, Hamites. You guys say that you're Ishmaelites. So there's no way that you can be taking, you're, you should be taking credit for what the Egyptians or the Hamites accomplished. But they accomplish it by learning from Abraham or the Israelites who were our people, who looked the same. But that just shows you, but see, like, if you guys go out and go steal everyone's identities, that's cool. If we're trying to go back to our original idea, identities, that's the problem. Like I said, just, it's just absolutely hilarious. Just like this guy right here. You know, Brother Sly has been going in on many of these people. He says, you don't have the truth. You're, you're just another Gentile who thinks that they know more than so-called black people, which is exactly what they think. They think they can come into our channels and tell us, you're wrong about this, you're wrong about that. Do we go to your channel and say that? No, because we don't care. Because we know that we have knowledge, you have belief. You can't prove anything beyond what you have been told by the system, right? So this guy, seriously, bringing up race, just like a racist black person who has no real uh, knowledge. You know, there, how's that? Now see, that's how you guys are always talking about. If we bring up race, that's the problem. You guys have made everything about race throughout this whole society. You're the one that set up all these laws against our people. You're the one that has whites only. You're the one that did not allow us to go to colleges. You're the one that's not allow us to get loans. You're the one that's not allow us to get businesses, all based on the color of our skin. But now that we bring that to your attention, and now that's the problem. And I went to his channel. I see nothing talking about scriptures on your channel. It says, and you won't, because I'm far beyond the scriptures. I'm like, see, that's the whole thing. Why are you even here? You don't even believe in the scriptures, which I already know most of you guys don't anyways. You guys don't belong, you don't believe in the scriptures anyway, so why are you guys even here? You're just here to cause strife. Because 
you have nothing of substance on your own channels. That's why you guys come over here. But that's okay. You can keep coming. I said, because you're just exposing yourselves more and more. You're stuck to a dead system that no one, that enlightened people are now moving away from. And you're still trying to grab pe the, the crabs in the bucket and pull everyone back. But that won't happen here. Much love, family. Shalom.